Hello and welcome to part number 7 of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and No Death playthrough and uh, we are right here this is at the start of the um, one of the more challenging uh, shrines to reach puzzles re to reach this is the if I remember correctly Starview Island and so what we're gonna do is try to find a way up there so the way you do it so there's all these islands kind of orbiting this specific one the big one sort of like a planet with with its moons there so that's really pretty cool so what you what you can do the idea here is that you go one at a time you go from here to here to here to here 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 and then try to find a way i think around here is close enough to actually make it to that one so the way we're going to do that, I don't have any rockets right now, but the way we're going to do that is actually through that thing right there. We're going to kill that guy and our hope is to do so in a manner, sorry, in a manner that will enable us to not launch the rockets. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so that's the safest way to do it. We're going to take the construct bow if we so desire. Um, I'm going to hold both the rockets here. Now the island we're trying to reach is this one. I believe. Oops, that, that is not right. Let's try that one. behind us I suppose it's in front of us right there yeah so first things first we're going to launch ourselves up and then across okay and so we're gonna do that by attaching a rocket here hopefully this does not launch us anywhere we don't want to go we can have the spear. Okay. So we're here. Actually, we're pretty far high up here. So what we could do is we could actually just merge this one. Still moving up. That's okay. I wonder... Yeah, that one would be too far away to kind of reach. But we should be able to reach that one, so that is our destination. <coughs> and a similar sort of setup is available on that one, so we're going to try to do the same thing. Make sure we get this robot. I'm um, just wondering if there's any items here that we should grab no nothing of value here okay got him okay so this should be and uh, again we're in anti-gravity area so just be aware of that all right so from here our destination is to reach that one So we're going to do that. I'm going to position myself the right way. Right here. Okay, that will start it up. Okay, still going up. I think that's the one, yep. Now we could try to attempt to go there, but I find that that's still quite far. Um, yeah. So that still is too far. 
So what I'm gonna do is basically place a rocket <laughs> right about here. That should give us the right amount of push here. So that we'll be able to move in that direction. The rockets have incredible thrust by the way in this game. They will send you going. And this platform is really good. It uh, really allows you to travel far. Okay, so we have a similar sort of platform there. So we can go do that. Okay, I'll remove that. Next should be these platforms here. Again, we'll have to kind of go down, which is kind of counterintuitive. We're already up there, but we'll need the extra rockets. And this gives us... <laughs> Always safe to kill these guys from the air. I'm just gonna check if there's any sort of plants here to s salvage. Uh, there usually isn't. The first time I did this, I used a Zonai device to basically just get myself on this island. And I was wondering why on, on the Starview Island directly. And when I reached these islands, I'm like, okay, so why are these set up? And so now that I do this, that the, the second time that I did that, I was like, okay, so that is what the intended purpose is. To reach this one and then make your way up to the others. Okay, so that is our destination there. Right, that is correct. And the platform does send you quite a ways off. I guess I've lost the cold effect here. It's kind of cool. Okay, so here we're going. Again, another platform over there. So we'll take that. There's a, ro there's a machine there too, so be aware of that guy. Now these constructs are not actually followers of Ganondorf. They're just part of the they're part of the zona, they just don't know who you are, so they can't identify you and therefore they attack you. Kind of unfortunate, really. Okay. Okay. Can't grab that bow. I have really bad bows. And just realized. Again, the same thing. So we use this to propel ourselves up. Okay. And I think it's those islands that we're supposed to get to now. Where's it that one? Is it that one? Oh, okay, yeah. So, I mean, not necessarily. Um, I think from here I could potentially make my way in there too. So I don't really need to hit those islands. I don't think there's anything super valuable there. There is like an old map or something like that. Maybe a stage as well. Because that guy's really far high up there, so there is something to be said about that. And then, yeah, these ones are the st standard. Okay, that's too far. Yeah. More of the same. So, yeah, I'll just uh, push myself up here. I'll just keep going. And that should give me sufficient verticality to make my way up to the hole there. 
and the, the hole is right here that you're supposed to hit I wonder if I can actually make this way I might actually be able to make to this one <laughs> um, completely unplanned and that's just because of the anti-gravity that we have available here and just the height that I have. Look at that. Look at Hyrule. Look at the Wind Temple. We're almost on as far high up as the Wind Temple. Totally just get there if you have a Zonai device. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Okay. So I was wondering if I could cover that. Okay, well, I mean, there's stam bulbs here, so not a complete waste of time. And some Zonai charges. Oh, an Endura Shroom. This was very fruitful. And I don't think there is, I think maybe there's a Sage's Will here, I don't know. Oh, full map, yeah. Yeah, not not uh, for me there. I mean, you can find unique weapons, which is good, but I'm not uh, interested in that. So again, here we go. So this is basically how you reach this, and this is a very well planned out uh, sort of shrine. I really like it. They did a good job making this one. And this is another shrine we can park, uh, get a fast travel point so then we can make our way to other locations using this location which is good but really the push off point should be this specific island because that is really far high up there okay so we'll fall and we'll align ourselves to the hole and this thing is huge by the way this is huge there's an there's a world in there i mean as you can see we're just falling and falling and falling there you go starview island and that's the shrine and it is huge. So the shrine is basically we have to hit uh, what's it, what is it? That thing with the lights, all these mirrors. So kind of just align basically what you're supposed to do. Is align it to this. Oops. The best of your ability. Almost there. Think, yeah, no. Anyway, <coughs> then you go to these uh, ones up there and just start uh, aligning them in the right direction. There are sufficient air currents so that you'll be able to do this easily. So we're supposed to push this one onto that one. So this one's kind of in the air, like it's not, it's not aimed anywhere. And we reach to that one. I'm assuming that's the correct one. Yeah, I think. Oops. Um, just aim it at that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that one can just be aimed at the middle one right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Y there is a way to open that and then get a chest and uh, claim the sage as well. Uh, but I'm not interested in that. If I want it, I'll do that at a later time. And there you go. That should unlock the shrine, I think. Yep, there it is. Go ahead and skip that. Uh, we've got a dispensary here, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it real quick. Oh, that was close. Thanks. And there's anti gravity all over this place, so everything's gonna come out real nice and slow, as you can see here. Rock emitter. Huh. Still haven't found the one with a rocket. Interesting. Oh well. 
I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Okay. And the uh, Maya Sire Shrine is ours. And with that, I think we have four more shrines to complete. One, two, three, four. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and do these shrines. Um, yeah, most of these shrines were actual shrines in the Sky Island. So they will have a puzzle that needs to be completed. Uh, I don't know about this one, though. This one should be completed, I think. Yeah, this is just your basic one. Grab a chest and then just grab the... No, I don't care about you. Star fragment staff, not bad, but eh. Doesn't do much damage. It has more utilities and I forget what they are. Okay, that's good. So more loading screens galore. Let's do this one. So again, this is close to the Great Sky Islands. Uh, I would imagine that uh, this is going to be a bit more challenging. A puzzle. When I say a bit more challenging, uh, as in um, there will be a puzzle in there. Not that you can complete an external puzzle and have it solved. Hmm. Yep, as I thought. Reflective device. Oh, okay. Yeah, so more light related ones. Oh, okay. No more anti gravity. I forgot. Okay, so that's not the heaviest. So, yeah, so these mirrors, they allow you to reflect light. Very useful. In fact, it's needed in a future in a in a temple the lightning temple if i'm not incorrect okay I should open that. And you can actually leave. I don't know if it'll matter. You can leave this here. I don't think it matters unless you want to get that chest. I believe. Um, okay. Okay, okay, gotcha. It's a moving platform now. There's some combat here. The third one? No. And they have a shield here. What do you have? Iron Ball. I don't care about that. Okay. So yeah, there is a light here. 
think you're supposed to shine it in such a way that uh, you're able to get it there. I think if I just put it here, get the other one. There you go. Well, that's the end of the puzzle, and uh, yeah, shrine's complete. Funny how this shrine and the last one were puzzle or mirror related, although they were f pretty far apart. That was basically an early game shrine, this one, and then that one was a little bit later. So that's interesting stuff. Okay, so that's two done. Um, I'm trying to remember. Okay, this one is a crystal shrine. No, this one's also complete. Interesting. Um, I'm trying to think. This one's. Did I complete it? No. Water makes the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is going to show you the effects of a. Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, the hydrant. Very good for the fire temple. I uh, mean, if you want to use it, oh, sorry, okay. Didn't really need that one. Because you already have one. Yeah, so the water will cool the lava and turn it back into its sort of semi solid state. And you can pull it out and make your own platform on the go. If there is molten lava there, you can make a solid platform, which is pretty cool. So you can sit right here. I mean, again, you just need the one. Let me see if how, how, how far big of it can I make. So we can break that. And there's a chest here. We can interact yep. with that. Um yeah, why not? Totally unneeded though. If you fall in the lava, you will just kind of respawn. You won't die unless you're down to one heart. So FYI on that. Ah, uh, do I have a rock hammer? I do not. Let's see, okay. Um, well, they've given you a claymore for this specific reason. <laughs> Basically, they also serve as fusible materials onto weapons, but it also generates a current, but it can also be used to break. So that's uh, pretty interesting stuff right there. Okay, so that's uh, where we need to go. What I'm going to do is basically make a longer platform here. One more should do it. Oops. 
And there you have it. I'm not gonna hold on to this fused material. I'm gonna destroy it. I need a better fused material than this. So remember, you can always destroy a fused material, but the primary weapon will still remain. Okay, so that's the third one. Okay, and um, then we do the final shrine. Get ourselves the fourth stamina vessel. And that is right here. The Natak Shrine. And so you'll notice on the right hand corner, uh, there the Shrine indicator states that we've done 15. Um, which is to say, four are left of our intended target. Okay, did I do this? Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, I have to get to that one. This is a crystal shrine. Okay, so let's see if we can get there. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get there. So, this is like a smaller version of that Star View Island. Like, this is nothing. And, uh, again... So what we're supposed to do here, basically, is uh, align the sphere. So, so it's not facing this way. So we want it to face this way. Because that's where the... You can kind of see it with the dispensary icon there. So that's where the... Uh, shrine is head uh, located. So I'm going to put it like this and then try to see if I can... Rocket this uh, crystal there. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the middle of there. And then we just sort of hope for the best. If it reaches, then it won't respawn back here. Okay, it didn't reach. Uh, clearly it kind of fell, so... Um, I think... If I aim it a little bit this way... Oops. Ah, never mind. Uh, okay, so let's try to aim this a little bit lower. How about now? Yeah, this would... Uh, the problem with this would be that we don't have sufficient... I wonder if it, this would have sufficient maneuverability. Oops. Position it here. Pull it towards us. And hope that it doesn't fall down. See, that's what keeps happening. And it falls. Um, hmm, I wonder if I can just sort of, I don't know if I can actually go that far, um, but I know what can, could make a bunch of Zonai devices just to 
cast like a bridge and then just take it there physically because this is obviously not working. Of this bridge would be in taking us as far as it does. So I'll place it here, and then this thing kind of goes here. I've never tried this before, so let's see how effective this is. The spike is a unique thing in it that it can actually embed itself into physical surfaces. like so and it'll hold a platform steady yeah that should be sufficient I think right so not the most uh, creative of solutions I know I've been able to score that uh, basket or a shot I would say many times successfully oops okay that is just annoying and just to the very edge there there you go yeah so make it safe so again Let's not leave it up to chance. Let's leave it up to engineering and your skill. And uh, yeah. Multiple solutions to these shrines. And that's what I love about this game. You can shoot a shot. You can build a zone eye device. Uh, or you could do this. Build a platform. Like I did. Okay, so that should do it. Give me the shrine. And this should just be a blessing, I would imagine. So Kala Sky Crystal. Yep. Oh wow, okay. That's pretty good. Can always use more of these. <coughs> skip that and this would give us four orbs of light 16 shrines done we're left with four more and we can go ahead and collect our item that we need to collect stamina vessel and then four are left and then we'll be all set with two full stamina wheels to attempt to get the master sword um okay Okay, that's all done. So er, again, all the shrines completed are in the sky. I have registered one shrine just because it was easier to kind of travel back and forth from there. Uh, but other than that, I, even I haven't even registered any of the shrines. We still have one, two, three, four places left uh, to explore. Uh, four areas unregistered. So we're going to just power on through and register the entirety of uh, Hyrule surface and the sky uh, before we get into the games proper. Gotta equip yourself with proper weapons. N I've already got the shield and need the weapon, the master sword, and then we'll see what I can do. Oh hey, this guy is here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, he is an NPC who gives you a very long quest to get the froggy armor set, which is very valuable. Allows you to climb uh, slippery surfaces once you have all three pieces. Uh, I don't know if you have to upgrade all of them. I think you have to upgrade them to two star to ensure you were you never slip. Otherwise, it just provides you resistance to slippage, which in and of itself is not that bad. 
Okay, so please give me the stamina vessel. And there you have it. Uh, just one fifth left and we're gonna go ahead and do that uh the video is 35 minutes long but what i'm gonna do is uh, just scope out the next uh, sky tower around this area so i think what's the best way of doing this and as i said uh, the best way might just be to kind of go here and then do it i do have a rocket shield i may just dis just do that Still haven't found the dispensary that gives you rockets. Very valuable these rockets. You can it's it's a Rivali's Gale basically. So you gain access to Rivali's Gale pretty much at the start of the game as soon as you find the right uh, uh, zone eye device or shrine with with rockets in it. So we're gonna exit out of here. Uh, exiting is uh, not as complicated. Just find these uh, wind uh, platforms here. Hold yourself underneath one of them and it will blast you all the way to the top here. And onto the exit. Um, oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, that is not what I intended. Get on top of this incredible big big planet. <laughs> um, okay, so where is the island? Is it is it there? Yeah, I think I see it. No. Okay, sorry. Thought I saw it. I mean this the the. I would think that the that these islands belong to that. Let's see. Yeah. I don't think so. That that should be it. It shouldn't be that far. Can I reach any of these? Hmm. Is that? Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, okay. I know what you are. That's another one of those incredibly high uh, and difficult to reach places. Um, okay, you know what? Let's uh, try to aim towards this one. That should be. And that should be a shrine right there. Somewhere. It is not that far. We have sufficient stamina and then we're not really aiming for the tower anyway. We're not aiming for this place and we're aiming for the tower. So I'm going to activate this. Let's see if I can hit any of these islands here. Maybe just this one. Probably not. Let's see if I can see the tower. Can't actually see anything right now. We're way too high up here. Okay, very slowly. Okay, where is the tower? Yeah, that, that right there. Uh, we'll get to that one, perhaps next part, I think. Let's start flying towards these islands here. Yeah, we're way too high up here. Okay, I see a tower there. And I think that is it, yeah, there, there, that, that's the one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a <laughs> challenging one to reach. Uh, we do also want to reach that uh, that one right there, this thing. But I'll leave it for another part to do that. I'll I want to first reach this uh, sky view tower. Is that what it's called? Sorry, I keep calling it sky towers. Um, but yeah, so this one, uh, once we register this, we'll open up this area. Uh, I will need some uh, stamina replenishing food just because I don't think, I mean for sure I'm not going to be able to make it this far. May as well just take the enduring elixir, give ourselves a full two stamina wheels and then just keep gliding. Because flying is the best way to get from one place to another. That's true in real life and so is in this game. I like how many real world applications this game takes. Uh, flying is the best way to travel, statistically speaking, um, and uh, rupees make the economy work in this game. As long as you have rupees, you can get all sorts of rare unique items, ammunition for your weapons, like bomb arrows or bomb flowers and whatnot. Um, Zonai devices, charges, it's pretty good. Uh, right, we can actually land here to, you know, just rest and recover our stem and then we can jump. I mean, we'll need to come here anyway. Assuming I can actually make it here. There's a running out of stamina here too. Okay, so I have completely run out of stamina. I should eat this. The tower is still ways ahead. Oh gosh, okay, I thought <laughs> the anti-gravity is gone. So I took damage to that. Okay, good. And this is another one of those diving tests. I'll uh, showcase this in another video mm, showing how to get the full complete set. Right now I'm just running around with the starting gear. The uh, archaic set. We're so far high up in the air. You see far and wide the entirety of Hyrule and the sky. This is what this game adds. I mean all of this like look at this, we never saw Hyrule like this in, in Breath of the Wild, or at least I didn't. And uh, yeah, just to see it in this, this way, it's just beautiful, and all this stuff in the sky. Phenomenal, phenomenal job. Really should have won Game of the Year. But we had very strong competitors like uh, Baldur's Gate 3. So, couldn't really win. So what's the solution to this? Oh yeah, okay, so this is very easy because we've already reached. This is standing on an island, so this is very easy. Okay. And we register this location, and off we go. Ah, uh, technically this is one of the first towers you're supposed to get to. If you follow the quest given by Pura, you get on the surface and basically make your way towards this location following the quest marker. Sorry, I almost dropped my controller. And then uh, you just register this and then go on top of this to get the chance to do the glide test challenge. Uh, that's okay. We got here in a timely manner as we intended. There you have it. Yeah, right beside Hyrule Castle. So, And Tabantha Frontier is right there too, so that's good. Yeah. I figured in that location right there. Please. Sorry. 
just gonna land here just to kind of figure out and get my bearings right. Okay. Right. So here we are. Um, the next location, the next tower location, we want to get to. It's definitely going to be around the Rito village area right there. We just struck by a snowstorm. And where is the sky tower for that? I wonder. Hmm. Not there. Can't really zoom out of this. Oops. And that's the wind temple, the uh, whole tornado that's causing the blizzard to happen. Is it in and around that that structure right there? This this cloud cover right there. Please let it not be around that. No. Hmm. That's one of the glyphs for the memories. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, so... Yeah. I think what the next thing should be... So I have four shrines left. There's going to be a shrine. I'm fairly certain there's a shrine here. That's a flux construct fight. I don't think there's one here. There is a shrine here. Not so sure about this one. And then definitely here. So there's three shrines here. And then the fourth... Once we do these three, we'll register these. This is a really interesting place. Again, similar to the Star View Island. Um, we'll do this and then register these shrines and then make our way here and register this and the shrine associated with that in the sky to get the four shrines that are outstanding so that is what i have planned for next starting with this uh, location here i forget is i think it's a light sky island or something like that um, but yeah it's pretty interesting same as, as as this one and this one uh which brings me to the point actually <laughs> i'm rambling on a little bit uh as much as i love the sky it is deserted i feel like like this was a great island amazing work this is also a really good one and of course the great sky island at the starting area the tutorial area that was really well done this is also in the sky factory really well done uh the water temple of course the the wind temple up there but there's so much swaths of just empty air like look at this this whole area is just empty fill it up with something similar to the star view island just make it nice and big and complex like same with this nothing here aside from this one thing right here this is a gliok a cling gliok sitting here put something nice and complex here now the fair sky of course this is another part of the main quest line and so is here like this whole swath again just a gliok fill it up fill up this fill up this area fill up this area and of course fill up this area right here um I don't know. That's just my take on it. It still feels a little empty. It, it is filled with a lot of stuff, but, you know, fill it more. I don't know. That's why I hope that someday they'll release a DLC. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but, yeah, that's just my two cents there. So, anyway, I'll leave it off here. And we'll continue in uh, the next video. Uh, maybe off screen I'll... Uh, actually, I've already acquired the stamina wheel, I think. Yep. Oops. Uh, but yeah, next video I will continue this uh, from here, from this location. Assuming that I don't, uh, that I can <laughs> make it back up here. And uh, yeah, we'll continue uh, with this uh, light sky island or whatever it's called. And then uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.